know, when you go back for second um, for pizza or for hamburgers or for french fries, that's you eating outside of portion sizes. And so if you went back for second on your scrambled eggs, you'd have to put in one cup or two half a cup serving. Um, and so if you tell if you're a fitness pal, you had one serving, automatically fills it in for you. So you can just care, um, just put in what you ate and then when you're searching and then put arrow mark behind it and it'll give you all of arrow marks menu items and you can easily put it up. And that's based on, they're, they're a nationwide company, they have standard recipes that they use at every one of their locations. Um, and the ingredients are the same, they cook it the same, all of their chefs are trained
nutrition information. Uh, you know, if it's made from um, fresh fruits or even frozen fruits without added sugar, that's great. Um, but if they're using purees that have a lot of added sugar, um, which sometimes, I haven't checked out the nutrition information. Um, I had one one time and it was really sweet, so I'm guessing that it has a lot of added sugar to it. Um, you know, sometimes they put yogurt in them and it's high sugar yogurt um, or high fat sometimes. And so, you know, be aware of what you're drinking. Um, sometimes things that sound healthy not necess aren't necessarily healthy. Um, make half of your plates fruits and veggies. Um, you know, if you're getting your plate, put vegetables and fruits on it. That way you know you're getting lots of nutrient-dense food. And, you know, that's what food is. It's, it should be nutrient-dense. Think of food as a way to fuel your body, to give your body energy. Um, food should taste good, and there's ways to make food taste good. And I feel like at Equal Dining, they make food taste good. I, most things I've had over there, you know, there's some places I've gone over there and had some not-so-great stuff. But for the most part, I've been very Very little to no oil, steamed vegetables. Uh, that sort of thing, they mix them together, they mix it with these enzymes. Um, it's a great way to get vegetables if you really don't like to just to eat salads all the time. So, trying to increase your amount of fruits and vegetables you eat will give you a lot of these needed minerals and vitamins that you need um, in order to sustain energy again, um, in order to um, go about your day, feel good. Also, if you fill up on these, you're not as likely to fill up on other things. Um, those simple carbohydrates like candy bars and um, potato chips, those quick fixes that are just going to leave you hungry um, for you know, later in the day. Um, make your own. If you've checked out the menu and you don't like any of the things, bring something yourself. Um, you know, keep some food. Do y'all live on campus? Apartments? Okay. So you have food, probably. And so prepare your own food. Um, you know, make some sandwiches, make meal prep, um, you know, for the week or something like that. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about, you know, exactly what goes into your food. Um, watch for sauces. Sauces, again, kind of like drinks, these sneaky little things. And so if something has a heavy sauce, um, you know, that can be loaded in fat, salt, sometimes sugar. Um, so heavy cream sauces like Alfredo sauces sometimes carry a lot of fat and calories um, without a whole lot of nutrition. So be aware of those. Be aware of what you're eating. Um, salads. Again, these are kind of like smoothies. People think of getting something healthy, but sometimes a salad can have uh, more fat and calories and sodium, that sort of thing, than um, you know, a, a hamburger, because you're putting on all that extra cheese, you're putting on the bacon bits, you're putting on um, dressing. Sometimes I see people just have a few things of lettuce inside dressing. Um, it's just swimming. <laughs> um, there's just not a whole lot of nutrition to that. Make dessert special. You know, just because they offer dessert every day, you don't have to get it. Um, just try to treat yourself to dessert, maybe, only on Fridays or after a big exam if you want to celebrate or something. Um, or maybe just twice a week. Uh, you know, just try to limit it. Um, maybe you have dessert at every meal. Um, this morning I had dessert at breakfast. Uh, but, you know, limit it to special times um, once or twice a week, only once a meal or once a day instead of every meal. Um, again, try not to get those empty calories, those calories that Um, and don't linger. Sometimes that's how you end up eating more portions. You're staying around, you're chatting, you've been in there, you've already finished your meal, you see something, you see somebody walk by with the dessert, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go get that now. And so you're more tempted to go back for seconds and get more. Um, so try to, you know, have your social time outside if you know you're tempted to go get more food and go back for seconds and that sort of thing. Um, and those are tips that you can take with you. Some of these you can use when you go eat out. Um, you know, we have other places on campus besides fresh food where you can make very healthy selections. And again, it's just knowing what
what's in your food um, at Chick-fil-A, at, um, at Subway, and I think now they put the calorie content and nutrition up um, on the board. Do they at Chick-fil-A here? It, they yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. He's a genius. Um, he's a, and so he said, well, I don't know how many calories. I know there. And I'm like, well, let me tell you something. I said, it's a whole lot more things than it is at Chick-fil-A. But be aware of what you're eating wherever you go. You know, most places you can pull the nutrition up and check out um, and just be conscious. And eventually you learn. You learn how to set, you know, if I get a grilled chicken salad with my dressing on the side, I'm probably going to get a pretty healthy meal. Um, if I get a grilled chicken sandwich over the fried sandwich, it's probably going to be pretty healthy. If I get a turkey sandwich with cold, on cold grain bread, you know, it's going to be pretty healthy. Um, you know, whole tomato, just little things you can take with you throughout your life. So you don't always have to sit and count calories. I mean, that's no fun. It's great to do for a while just so you learn about what's nutritious, what's not, because, you know, that can be very overwhelming. Just natural to go snacking. They come in their own little wrappings. 